I'm going to show you how to make a word bank activity for writing sentences in the classroom on the smart board. A word bank um, is something like the example at the bottom where you have different tabs for the letters so they've been arranged uh, alphabetically um, where each cell can be clicked on let's say last and then maybe we want to say night um, we want to start writing a sentence just by clicking on these cells you can also type in some some of your words by opening up your clicker keyboard having the learners come up to the board here and press on each letter to type in the word. Once you've finished with the keyboard, you can close it down and then continue with your uh, word bank. But basically it helps you to expand your vocabulary and build sentences faster. Let's make one. We go to click a set, new click a set, it's a grid wizard, it's only half a page, and we go down to Word Bank. Now you can either type or paste text here. This is designed for you to copy and paste in a large chunk of text that contains lots of different vocabulary that you want to be available, or else you can just start typing in words that you want the learners to be able to use. I can also go to a web browser um, and here I've searched for some things to do in Cape Town based on the idea that uh, your students are going on holiday in Cape Town. I can just select all of this and go down to the bottom. Oh, these are lots of words that we're going to have for them to choose from. And I can say copy and then I can go back to clicker and say paste from clipboard. All of that text is here, and on the side, we have an example of how it's going to look in my clicker set. Now, maybe I've put a little bit too much in here, so I'm going to delete some of it. Uh, also, there's some things that I'm probably not going to use in here, like uh, telephone numbers and that sort of thing. You can also delete them here, but you'll have an option to delete them or change them later. I'm just going to change some of these things. So you can edit here or later once you're in your clicker set. might be easier to do it now, though. So I'm just going to delete some more things. Oh, there's some shark cage diving. We've got some very adventurous learners, maybe. Um, I'm just going to delete some of this stuff here. Okay, I think that's all right. I'm going to do just the top part. I'm going to delete the rest of it. Delete it all. Okay. Now, um, depending on the level of your learners, maybe it doesn't need to predict some of the very short words, like all or the. So you have the option to filter out those very common words. You can either filter out the 32 most common words or go all the way up to 2,000 of the most common words which will not appear in your grid. Let's just keep it with 32 and I can also filter out words with fewer than three letters. That seems reasonable. Um, I can arrange it into an alphabetic grid. Uh, the other types of grids are a little bit more advanced. One grid will be quite jam-packed, so that'll just be one on option, and topic grids we'll show you how to make later. All right, I think we're happy with that. I'm just going to go create, and now immediately I have my sentence, well, my word bank um, grid here at the bottom. I can go across and see all the different words. If I want to change them, uh, so maybe I don't want it to say goodies anymore, or I can go over here, and maybe cage doesn't need to be a capital. Um, I can hold down control on my keyboard and click there. Ooh. Sorry, it's shift. Make sure you hold down shift on your keyboard, and then you have the option to edit that text. So maybe here I can change cage to cages. Okay. There we go. And now that's immediately changed. Or Cape Town Magazine, maybe we want to give this some spaces. Hold down shift again and make some space. Okay. So um, after you've created your word bank, you have still some options to uh, make some changes before you're happy. Then if you want to use this in the future, you've got to make sure that you go to click a set, save click a set, 
and choose somewhere to save it. And this is important because you don't want to lose it. Um, once you've saved it, you can also say click a set favorites, add this current set to favorites, and then you'll be able to find it when you go here to your explorer, quick start, it will appear here in your favorites. Okay, so that's how you can create a word bank. Don't forget to like Edit Microsystems on Facebook.